The home of the mother is the gift that our Lord wishes to give to his mother, for which he has chosen each one of its members. The goal of the home of the mother is the sanctification of its members for the glory of God under the maternal protection of Mary. The vocation to the home is a call from God to belong to a movement within the church, thus forming a great family. The Home of the Mother of All Humanity, Mother of the Youth, is a public international association of the faithful, erected by the Pontifical Council for the Laity on June 3, 2010, Solemnity of the Most Sacred Body and Blood of Christ. God calls each member to a particular vocation within the various branches of the home. Young people, lay members, servant priests and brothers, servant sisters. Each member is centered in his vocation, but all share in the same spirituality and the same charism. The home of the mother has three missions in the church. Our first mission is the defense of the Eucharist. We love the Eucharist and cultivate love of the Eucharist in our lives. We form ourselves under the magisterium of the church in order to transmit to others the truth about the presence of Christ. Through the Eucharistic celebration and daily adoration, we live in intimate union with Jesus Christ. The Eucharist becomes a school of life for the members of the home. Our second mission is the defense of the honor of our Blessed Mother, especially in the privilege of her virginity. The home of the mother was born from the heart of the Virgin. We are totally hers. We are Mary's possession and property. We feel that we are chosen by God through the Most Holy Virgin. Thus, we become defenders of the undeniable truth of her divine maternity through her perpetual virginity, becoming witnesses of her purity in the world. Our third mission is the conquest of young people for Jesus Christ. Young people represent the future. For this reason, we help them to experience Jesus Christ's love for them by bringing them in contact with the Eucharist. We help them to know the maternal love of Mary, teaching them to have a filial relationship of trust with her. We desire that the Blessed Virgin live in us and among us. The home of the mother should reflect and transmit her so that others perceive her presence in us. We experience that the heart of the Virgin is our home and at the same time that she wishes to live in our heart as in her home. This is the Carmelite spirituality, the continuous presence of our mother in our lives. The members of the home wish to be recognized by their true joy, union with their brothers and sisters, and a disinterested love for the church as gifts that proceed from God. The instrument that our mother used to make the home of the mother come about was Elizabeth van Kierbergen, better known as Mommy. She was born July 12, 1908, in Brussels. God had a great mission in store for her. Be the spiritual mother of 99 priests, one of them being Father Rafael Alonso Raimundo, founder of the home of the mother. Father Rafael Alonso Raimundo was born in Jerez de Marquesado in Granada, Spain, on January 10, 1947. He was ordained a priest in the Diocese of Toledo in 1980. The home of the mother came about as a fruit of his dedication to apostolate with the youth. On July 29, 1982, before St. Peter's tomb in Rome, in a sign of fidelity to the Pope and the Catholic Church, six girls made a commitment to live a profoundly Christian life with complete openness to God's will. Thus, they formed the apostolic group of the home of the mother of the youth. The following year, on December 27, 1983, at St. Peter's tomb, seven boys also took up this commitment to live a Christian life thus initiating the male branch. The home of the mother of the youth, formed by both boys and girls of various ages, continued to grow and mature. Some of the girls felt called to live the charism and missions of the home in a complete consecration of their lives. On September 22, 1984, three young women in silence began to live this new experience of consecrated life, the servant sisters of the home of the mother. After 10 years of growth and maturity, they were approved in the Diocese of Cuenca, Spain on December 8, 1994. The servant priests and brothers of the Home of the Mother were founded on September 8, 1990 and were approved as a public association of the faithful on November 26, 1994. Soon, laypersons also felt the call to live the charism of the Home of the Mother according to their state of life. And on December 25, 1995, the communities of adults of the Home of the Mother were formed. 
On June 3, 2010, Solemnity of the Most Sacred Body and Blood of Christ, the Pontifical Council for the Laity approved the Great Family of the Home of the Mother as a public international association of the faithful, thus confirming that it is indeed a work of God. The young people of the Home of the Mother feel urged to bring the presence of Mary to their environments. They live their commitments without fear of giving testimony to their Christian life, by being examples of virtue, and by surrendering to a life in Christ. The youth live with the joy of knowing that they are children of God, called to a certain vocation within the church. The young person makes the effort to form himself in order to do apostolate and strengthen his interior life through daily prayer and placing himself under the protection of Mary, his mother. Each day, the young person of the home offers and consecrates himself to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, asking for the assistance of the Holy Spirit, uniting himself at the same time to the whole family of the home of the mother as a member that aspires to find his particular vocation. The Servant Sisters of the Home of the Mother are a family of adorers of the Eucharist open to the will of God. They have Mary as their model from whom they learn, and they seek to make her present through their daily work and community life. The Servant Sisters do not belong to themselves. Therefore, they make a total consecration of their life to the Lord through the observance of the Evangelical Councils, to which they add the vow to defend the Eucharist in and with their life, and the vow to defend the virginity of Mary. They go wherever the Church needs them, taking on any work in accordance with the missions received, especially that of the conquest of young people for Jesus Christ. The Servant Brothers fully give themselves to the service of the Church in the hands of Mary. They, as faithful sons, try to please her with their lives, taking her as their mother, teacher, and model. The servant brother denies himself in order to be transformed into a docile instrument of the Lord. The servant brother perfects himself in order to become a gift for our mother, through community life and the vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience, while adding the vow to defend the Eucharist in and with his life, and the vow to defend the virginity of Mary. They are open to any form of apostolate, giving themselves in a special way to help young people grow close to the Lord and His Most Holy Mother. The lay members of the Home of the Mother commit to live in fidelity in the midst of the world, the missions of the home, making them visible through their daily lives. By making of their souls shrines exclusively for God, they become examples of holiness for humanity. Each lay member strives to live virtuously, especially those virtues most needed in his state of life, cultivating especially the virtues of humility and patience, charity and chastity according to his state, diligence and temperance. He perfects the qualities he possesses in order to place them at the service of God and neighbor, using these gifts to fulfill his three missions. The goal behind the many activities that the Home of the Mother organizes over the course of the year is to foster values that will help individuals mature as Catholics in today's society. Summer encounters for youth and children. Holy Week encounters in which people of all ages and walks of life are welcome to participate in a more intense spiritual experience of the Paschal Mystery. Family encounters to deepen in the understanding of the spiritual mission of the family. Retreats, pilgrimages, formation talks, spiritual exercises, hikes, working outdoors, etc. From the spiritual point of view, we try to ensure that they understand the significance and need for a life of prayer and the sacraments, and the fact that they should be striving for holiness every day. The Missionary Groups of the Home of the Mother is a civil association enlisted in the Spanish National Association Registry of the Ministry of Internal Affairs. All of its projects are carried out with the spirit of Christian evangelization and therefore with the divine missionary spirit at the service of the needs of the church wherever we are called. This servant is currently focused on the country of Ecuador. Thanks to the generosity of all those who collaborate with the missionary groups, some of the projects that are carried out are family sponsorships, school aid, sanitary aid, soup kitchens, and the farm Maria Elisabetta, which helps to sustain the soup kitchens and facilitates spiritual and human formation.
The home of the mother uses all the means of apostolate within its reach in order to spread the kingdom of God. Yet in a particular way, it feels called to spread the gospel through all the different forms of mass media. The radio, the television, the printed press, and the internet. After the call from John Paul II to build a civilization of love, the Foundation EU Kebami came about, in which each member of the home of the mother offers the gifts he has received and collaborates in its development. Yesterday, today, always the truth are the words of Jesus Christ that explain the reality we want to transmit through this work.